Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 58, let us proceed. Although some of these units are a bit too tired to proceed. It looks like the enemy just ran away here, which is great. He's out of range. Let's just push forward. Okay, this is the artillery which I want on the high ground before it fires. Hey, I got a couple of kills. It was just to soften them up, really. 63 Vigor. This unit should not move. For now. 76. Many of these units are tired. Uh, let's just hit these guys from above. Six. Oh, these guys must be on, like, never surrender mode. Goodbye. Just do me a small favor and kill these guys, please. I see that you are just not going to go down easily, huh? We can just probe them to strain their supplies. Okay, that's kind of funny actually. They just didn't get any get any, get any damage there. quite get on that hill just yet. Look at this man, this looks clear all the way, which is fascinating. Okay, these units must be really tired. Nope, they held.
Interesting that there's a road there, and yet I can't get up that. I can't get up there that easily. Wow, that's a big unit. Okay, these units are all tired. Not, not huge progress, but if I manage to break this position nice sadly I'm going to units fast enough to get there I was going to say if I manage to break this position and just cut down here then all of these guys are in uh, bad in the bad times land lot of damage. That was brutal. One guy left. So yeah. Okay, the push continues. At a solid pace too. Man, imagine there being nothing all along here, all the way to Ireland. That would be huge. Let's go. Keep moving forward, boys. dudes. No, it's a fair bit more than six dudes, but <laughs> they packed it in.
Okay. How about this? Stoogs. Has he got tanks? No. Not really. There's nothing for the Stoogs to shoot at. Just in case. Oh! I just bumped into something. Did not fight back very hard, whatever it was. This is probably the unit that I boshed earlier. Let's go. It's gone. It was the unit that I boshed earlier, up here, that ran down. Okay, this push forward is looking really good now. Just keep him still. Okay, that's fine. Nice, got a kill there. Yeah, I'm just barreling forward now. Just want to absorb these uh, units, enemy units. Just absorb them as quickly as possible and just push forward to establish my new front line. This is moving in to intercept this. I guess this can move here to potentially cut this off. It's 
some priests. Shot on this guy. Nope, out of range. That's in range. Nope. I'll get him next turn. That did not help. I'm going to move this unit up here to assist. Should I just go for it? I've got good, good sight. Nice. Five kills. Pretty good. Nice to clear that, but oh well. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay, it's another one of these ones with tank crews. Tired, died of fatigue. Oh man, is this all clear? This would be amazing if this was all clear. Pretty sure this guy has no supply. Surrender! Nice. I knew after the losses that he would surrender. You can't take those kind of losses and then be hit again. Man, I just feel like my units are just going as fast as humanly possible now.
We still don't know how well defended these positions are going to be. They're worth... They're worth five victory points each, so they should be defended. You know, ironically, as much as, you know, as much as I wish for this to be undefended, it's almost certainly not undefended, but I could potentially take this unit and go like this way and down. This road might be undefended. And if I go this way and down, and this is completely undefended, this would just cut this all off. Which would be amazing. I need extra units on this front. In an ideal world, I would go down here and this is undefended, and I would go down here and this is undefended, and I would just call it a day. The likelihood of that is low. So now I'm thinking that I could go this way and down and down again. And that would be uh, that would be a cut off. Does this unit have like good? It doesn't really have the best AT. This unit. Overwhelming. <coughs> Man, this is looking really bad for them. Movement cost zero. I think this is just transports. Okay, that went badly. It's morning, so it's still hard to see what I'm looking at. I went for it because the odds calculator said that I had a fantastic chance, so... <laughs> Look at this. This means that there's nothing there. Wouldn't it be funny to just go up that way? Mm. Bit risky. Concentrate on putting the hurt onto the enemy. <laughs> three. They got three kills. I did untold damage to them there. These guys are trying to crawl up the side here. Do I have any artillery in the area? Nope. Some heads. 
Let's do our best, shall we? Alright, that was good. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 units lost, and they lost 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 33. It's not bad. This unit doesn't look that tired. Bullets be handy, man. Okay, let's leave that one for now. How much fuel has this unit got? Still quite a lot of fuel. I very much wanted this line to be my line that I did not cross, so... We'll see if it's necessary to cut these guys off from behind or not. Wow. Look at this presumed. There's no supply here. That must mean that there's no units here. There's almost certainly units here. The supply map makes it look as if I can just go down here and just cut this right here. That would cut the major road. Then they'd have to use this medium road which connects to a major road. Holy crap, it doesn't connect to a major road for miles and miles and miles so that would be horrible. See, how I think the supply system works is you move along the major roads for free. So supply has got a certain amount of AP. This is just like Shadow Empire. Supply has got a certain amount of AP, but you move along the biggest roads for free. And then your supplies are uh, impaired by medium roads, but not by a huge amount. But you start losing AP. And by dirt roads, by more, and then by ordinary tiles, by by tons. That's why the major roads are so important. So a cut, a cut here, forcing the use of this major road means that the supply is going to be hampered massively, because that is a lot. Uh, that is a lot of medium road to go through. The supplies might not even make it. He's got no supply. He's got no supply. I could just shoot at them from the hill. Do they have any anti-tank? Yes, they do. If 
for a ranged attack instead. Uh, these units are a bit low on supply. I feel like I should just pull them back, actually. Let's not go crazy here. We are... We're being assaulted by an idiot push. We should... Hold back for now. Okay. Alright. That's it for now. We're gonna see what we can do about the St. Vith situation. This ball of British tanks is very scary. But maybe... Maybe there is some way to encircle it and prevent it from doing anything. Maybe there is a way to bust through. And, uh... And take St. Vith. And cut off all these units. This position doesn't look anywhere near as scary as it once did. Many of these units are looking very weak. I mean, that's just artillery. I could certainly get that. There's def I definitely can chip away at the block here, for sure. And if this crumbles, if this position crumbles, I can just run straight in. Either way, Team Pink is at least going to be able to move forward now. Even if they did encounter the great tank roadblock. And I reckon I can get in here. Take out the Sexton. Maybe lock this massive tank division off. Things to think about. But that is it for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.